solve equations with fractions. Here we have a set of equations. I will do one of them for you. The other one is for you to try okay, and practice. Now let's do the one on the right hand side. So let's follow our standard procedure and that is one by one eliminate things and then get to x, right? So that is what we are going to do. So we need to isolate x, that is like solving for x. So here if you see the equation, what we can do is, first we'll take out 2, that means take away 2 from both sides. So we'll get this term equals to minus 2, then we'll multiply 5 by minus 2. So this will get rid from here, we get x plus 1 equals to minus 10, and then we'll take away 1. So minus 10 minus 1 minus 11 is the expected answer for this question. Now do we really get so? Let's try to do it. So first step is 1 over 5 x plus 1 equals to minus 2. And how did we get it? Let me give you a reminder on this. So we got it by doing minus 2 on both sides. So we did what? We did minus 2 on both sides, right? So if I do minus 2 here and minus 2 here, then 2 minus 2 is 0 and 0 minus 2, we get minus 2 there. Perfect. The next step, as I said, will multiply by 5. And if I do that, I get x plus 1 equals to minus 2 times 5. Whenever we are doing times, we don't really have to draw a right cross or dot, right? We can just write the number in brackets. It means multiply. So at this step, what we really did was times 5, both sides, correct? So both sides, we did times 5, right? So we got x plus 1 equals to minus 10. Now we need to get rid of plus 1 from here to find what x is. So let's take away 1 from both sides, right? So anything you do, you do the same thing on both the sides. So if you do that, then you get x equals to minus 10 minus 1. And what is minus 10 minus 1? It is minus 11, more minus, correct? So it's like going 10 steps downstairs and then one more step down. So you go 11 steps down. Think like that. So once you find a solution, you should always check. There is a possibility that there could be an error, right? We can all do errors, so right? So let's check it out. So when we check it, it really means that plug the value in and see whether you get both sides equal. In this case, if I substitute minus 11 for x, I should get 0, correct? So let's do it. We have 1 over 5 times minus 11 plus 1 plus 2. Now, minus 11 plus 1 is Remember, we have to do within brackets first. So, okay, 1 over 5 minus 11 plus 1 is minus 10 plus 2. Now, minus 10 divided by 5 is minus 2. So, we get minus 2 plus 2, which is 0. Correct? See the importance of brackets. Now, you know it is minus 10 divided by 5 or it is 1 over 5 times minus 10. It is not 1 over 5 minus 10. Okay? Sometimes students may make that mistake. So you don't do that mistake. Correct? So you understand how it should be treated. Now, we did the right side. <coughs> the left side is for you to do, but let's go over the steps. Now, when you see equation like this and you want this x, right? So first thing is, what should you do? Plus 1 both sides, right? That is the first step. So if you do plus 1 both sides, you get 1 over 3 times x minus 2 equals to 1. Then you have to multiply by 3. Then you say times 3 both sides, right? So when I do this, that really means times 3 both sides. Don't get confused with x. This is times, okay? Times 3 both sides. If I do times 3, then it becomes 1 is already here x minus 2 equals to 3, right? Now, x minus 2. Now, we want to get rid of this minus 2. Then what do we do? We do plus 2 both sides. Is that okay? So, that's the next operation. So, when you do plus 2 both sides, 
then you really get your answer which is 6 plus 2 which is 8 okay so once you get your answer then you need to check your answer correct so let's check that answer so I'm doubtful so we did some oral calculations let's see if it works or not so what it did was we took 1 on this side it became plus 1 multiplied by 3 3 and then added 2 3 plus 2 5 correct that is what we got so let's check if 5 works so 1 over 3 5 minus 2 minus 1 so 5 minus 2 is 3 so we get 1 over 3 times 3 minus 1 and that is 1 minus 1 and that is 0 so it works and that is the right answer do it yourself follow the steps and then see if you get the right answer all the best continue we have many more